in this video we are going to talk about the concept of definite integrals so the definite integral is defined like this integral a to b f of x dx is equal to f of b minus f of a where this one a is called the lower limit of the integration and this letter b is called the upper limit of the integration so before going to the problems there are some properties for definite integrals the property number one tells you that whenever the lower limit and upper limit both are same then the function is always gives you zero as the answer say for example if i have two here two here any function over here then if i integrate so the final answer will be zero sometimes if i have two values let us say i have a and c then we have some function dx so this can be written as integral a to b f of x dx plus integral b to c f of x dx that means i'm just dividing the entire function from the limits a and c as a to b plus b to c property number three for any constant c we have the property that is integral a to b some constant times the function so before integrate take the constant outside then write the remaining integral a to b f of x dx formula number four if i have two function f of x and gx i can write integral a to b the first function plus integral a to b the second function then sometimes we have like this integral b to a f of x dx so this i can change as minus of integral a to b f of x dx say for example if i have integral 2 to 1 f of x dx that is equal to minus times integral 1 to 2 f of x dx that is here i will change the upper limit and lower limit so the upper limit will come to lower limit the lower limit will go in place of upper limit let us discuss the <coughs> questions belongs to the definite integral so definite integral means integrals with limits so as i told you here this value is called the lower limit and this value b is called upper limit so in this question i have integral 1 to 2 x to the power 3 minus 2 x plus 5 so in step number one i have to integrate the function so integration of x power 3 will give you x power 4 by 4 minus integration of 2x will give you 2 is constant integration of x will give you x power 2 by 2 plus integration of 5 will give you 5x once the integration is done remove the integral sign make it as a bracket write the lower limit in the down upper limit here so as per the definite integral concept you have to substitute the upper limit first then write a minus sign and then you have to substitute the lower limit my suggestion always write upper limit in a separate bracket then put a minus sign and keep lower limit and then substitute lower limit so here we have x power 4 by 4 right so the upper limit is 2 so what i do i have to substitute 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 minus in the second term 2 and 2 gets cancelled we have x power 2 here my x value is 2 so this will be 2 power 2 plus 5 times the upper value is 2 so once you complete all the upper limit close the bracket put a minus sign open another bracket now substitute the lower limit what is my lower limit my lower limit is 1 so again this will be 1 power 4 by 4 minus 1 power 2 plus 5 times 1 if you simplify this you will get this answer 23 by 4 this number 2 so here my function is x times x power 2 minus 1 into dx so it's a very simple function but before integrate you have to multiply so this will become x power 3 minus x times 1 will give you x so now you can start integration so integration of x power 3 will give you x power 4 by 4 
integration of x will give you x power 2 by 2 between the limits 0 and 1. Then let me substitute the upper limit that will give you 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 minus I have to substitute lower limit. If I substitute lower limit this will become 0 the second term also will become 0. So 1 by 4 minus half that will give you minus 1 by 4. Question number 3 we have to integrate integral 0 to pi sin t and dt. So here my function is sin t. I have to integrate sin t with respect to the variable t. So integration of sin t will give you minus cosine t between 0 to pi. Let me substitute the upper limit. So this will give you minus cos pi. Before lower limit we have to put a minus. So here already I have a minus. So minus minus will give you plus. Now in place of t I substitute the lower limit. Here the lower limit is 0. We know that cos pi value is minus 1. Cosine pi value is minus 1 and cosine 0 value is 1. So minus times of minus 1 will give you plus 1. 1 plus 1 will give you 2 as the final answer. Question number 4. Same idea. Here we have 8x power 3, 3x power 2 plus 6x between the lim limits 2 and 3. So my, the, my function is 8x power 3 plus 3x power 2 plus 6x. We have to integrate every term with respect to x. So let us keep 8 as it is. Integration of x power 3 will give you x power 4 by 4. Then second term 3 is a constant. Keep as it is. Integration of x power 2 will give you x power 3 by 3 plus keep 6 as it is. Integration of x will give you 6 power 2 by 2. Once the integration done, remove the integral sign and keep the limits in the respective places. Before substitute the limits, if possible, do the simplification. So here you will get 2, here 3, 3 cancel, 2, 6 cancel, we have 3. So I have 2x power 4 plus x power 3 plus 3x power 2 between the limits 2 and 3. As usual, first we have to apply upper limit. So this is 3 power 4, 3 power 3 plus 3 times of 3 power 2. So this all for upper limit. So let me write in the bracket minus I have to substitute the lower limit. My lower limit is 2. So that will give you 2 times of 2 power 4 plus 2 times of 3 plus 3 times of 2 power 2. By simplifying this you will get an answer 164. So this is also a similar model. You can try yourself. And these are the exercises for you. Just try it yourself and check the solution given on the right hand side. We will see you in the next video.